Baloch groups who are fighting for the freedom have launched a series of coordinated attacks across the province targeting Pakistan army and security personnel, taking them by surprise and leading to the deaths of several. The Baloch Liberation Army, that is the BLA, issued a statement saying that they have killed 102 Pakistani soldiers overnight in what they termed as Operation Hereof, launched Sunday midnight. The deaths included close to about 40 who were taken off from a bus coming in from Punjab and were killed after identity cards were checked. Now, the BLA claims that they were Pakistani security personnel dressed as civilians. While Baloch statements can be exaggerated, Pakistan media reports on the casualties cannot be trusted as well since the information is heavily blocked and tweaked. However, the Dawn has reported that at least 50 people, including 14 security personnel, have lost their lives as militants went on a rampage across the province, storming police stations, blowing up railway tracks and setting fire to almost three dozen vehicles. One thing is very clear. Baloch activists have now increased firepower and planning needed to launch such strikes. Now remember that Balochistan is Pakistan's largest but least populated province and is home to the ethnic Baloch minority who claim discrimination and exploitation by the central government. This has led to the separatist insurgency demanding independence. Now protests by Baloch's human rights abusers by the Pakistan military, the ISI and the military intelligence and attacks by BLA and other like groups have created a volatile situation, particularly in Gwadar, a key city for China's Belt and Road Initiative. This crisis assumes even more strategic significance because it is now also intricately linked to China's economic projects and the geopolitical shifts following the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan. The port of Gwadar is strategically important for trade and energy routes for China as well as for Pakistan. However, Chinese investments have been a source of contention with Baloch accusing the Pakistani government and the Chinese companies of exploiting Balochistan's resources without fair compensation. China's deep economic involvement in Balochistan has placed it at the center of the conflict. According to reports, and that is, by the dawn, agreements indicate that 91% of the revenues from Gwadar port will go to China for the next 40 years. This has fueled resentment among the Baloch people who are already marginalized. They feel that this port arrangement will deprive them of the rightful share of development and they are being exploited. Balochistan shares a border with Afghanistan and the power shift has influenced local dynamics. Baloch separatist groups, emboldened by the fact that the Taliban and the Pakistani military now don't share good vibes, have intensified their activities. The Pakistan government has struggled to maintain control and the influx of militants and groups from Afghanistan has added to the chaos. There has been a significant surge in terror attacks in Pakistan since the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan. Now, what will happen? Pakistan Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif has already called for a concrete action, which is nothing but just an another way of saying more military operations and more tortures and abductions that will become the norm of the day. For The Print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to The Print's YouTube channel for more such videos, including snap opinions and instant analysis.